Consolata Cunada, supporter of orphans and vulnerable children. Welcome to the JSO interview. Thank you, John. In thinking of orphans and vulnerable children, or OVCs, as they're known in the jargon phrase, yeah. the image that comes to mind is surely of orphans, then perhaps street children whom we dismissively called chokoras, uh, children with HIV AIDS, abandoned children, this whole grouping of young people supposedly without a future. Now, you have been working with such young people for a long time, so much so that in 2009, you received a head of state commendation for your work with OVCs. Yes, John. Tell us more. I started working for orphans and vulnerable children in two, uh, 1992, that is nearly 20 years ago, and I started with the street children in Nairobi. Now, since then, I have worked with different groups and uh, uh, initially with institutions that were caring for children with HIV, street children, and orphans within Nairobi and mainly around Karen. I did help start uh, the Karen Street Children's uh, Program, today known as Friends of Karen Street Children, in 1995 looking at the, uh, the children and looking at the community around, the rich community around Karen. And my objective was to provoke them, mobilize them, empower them to be able to support the street children that were present within the Karen shopping center. And that has been working very well up to date. I also worked with, uh, friend, now I work for Friends of Dagoretti as a committee member, but mainly giving the technical advice because I then moved to the village to start the mango tree. Before that I also worked in government institutions uh, that are caring for vulnerable children. In, in uh, Lower Kabete I worked for uh, the Nairobi Children's Home, Nairobi Re Children's Remand Home and the Getaduro Rehabilitation School. Now having worked with these institutions and watched the uh, street child moved with them in these institutions, the challenges that I saw drove me into thinking and searching for a model that would be able to help these children comprehensively, that would be able to address every aspect of the child's need. And so this led me back to the family. And the family leads me back to the community. So today, uh, my own uh, model that I've developed is a community-based support for orphans, which, which means that they continue to stay within their natural family. And if the parents are all dead, they will stay with their next of kin. Right, okay, before you go any further, you yes. spoke about your present occupation yes. as the director, I do believe, yes. of something called the Mango Tree Orphan Support Program. Yes. Again, before I come back with you with a line of questioning, yes. tell us what Mango Tree does. The Mango Tree Orphan Support Program is a community-based orphan care program that looks at, takes care of children, but within their community. In other words, we don't support institutional care. We believe that the child's, uh, the rightful place for bringing up a child is within their community. Right, a given. Yes. So we don't have time for detail, sadly. Yes. yes. How many children do you look after? We l I look at 4,700 children. Right, so these 4,700 children either are orphans or they have got HIV AIDS yes. or they are, what else are we going to say? They, they were caught Children with the, disabilities. Children with disabilities. Yes. And they found themselves, all 4,700 of them, yes. in this program which you run. Yes. And you're saying you're not for the institutional approach. Yes. You are for the community-based approach. Yes. Expand. We, when we do uh, receive the children, we, we, we um, register the orphans within their community. That means that every child is brought to us by a next of kin. 
in the presence of a clan elder or a chief and the whole community brings up their children for registration. Then the community has to provide village volunteers that will work with us because as I've told you we are 4,700 but I only work with a staff of 17. The rest are 102 village volunteers who are the link with us in the community. So every village uh, gives us two members who will work with us as we care for their orphans. Now, these orphans will continue to study in the normal government primary schools. But already the system is open to abuse. I can say that I have a child, I don't have much of a desire to look after him or her, and I declare that child an orphan and off they go to your support program. It is not possible to do that. And that is why we, we don't bring them to the office. We go into the village. And we first begin by telling the, the, the village that we are entering it up into a partnership that, has, that, that demands transparency. And it is only the orphaned children that we will support. And so in the interviewing team will be a clan elder, will right. be, a, uh, will be a mem members of the church, church leaders within that village. Right. There will be a chief, there will be an assistant chief. Right. And the whole family, if, if a woman comes forward to say, this is the orphan that I live with, we will insist that all the orphans within her care comes with her. So we'll interview the children. I will uh, talk to each child and try to confirm how they are related to this particular person. Right. And the leaders will be there to say, yes, we know this child. Yes, she comes from this village and that is the home. Right. But you started off by dismissing institutional care as you called it yes so i set up a building and i say i'm running an orphanage uh, i'm going to go on two prongs first of all this is working in the village yes so you could say that in a village there aren't that many people even when we go to vote in a sort of village scenario can this be who is the community in a place like nairobi like kisumu like eldoret like mombasa the big metropoli what I might say is that with my experience in Nairobi, most of the children who come to the street will have come from somewhere. And part of my role at the Nairobi Children's uh, Remand Home was to do tracing and reintegration of children who were found uh, in this institution. So I did realize that these children came from somewhere. There was always an ex of kin. And actually in the process of reintegrating these kids, we always have had a family group decision making meeting where you had a church lead, whether it's a, within the center of, uh, within a slum, this family will be living around, there will be a church that they attend, perhaps, there will be a market, there will, there will be a, 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 the, cast, the one that they buy uh, Sukuma Wiki from. Every person will have someone. But if they haven't stayed in the slum for long, then they must have come from somewhere. And so you trace it back to their, 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 their original, uh, uh, what, uh, where they came from. Right, okay, again, let's go back, because we're, yes. we're city dwellers, maybe, yes. where this interview is taking place. Yes. So again, I, we see people sniffing glue, yes. looking for food, begging. Yeah. How does this circle b become broken? In Nairobi, because I'm, I'm trying to say in the village it's easier. The yeah. problem is going to be a city problem. So please transfer your model to the city and let me see children refuse to sniff glue, refuse to try and pickpocket uh, me as I drive past, because I do drive past them. Because we have a society of haves and have nots. And if we're not going to pretend, if I'm a have not, I, the, the, the plight of these children doesn't really concern me. Now, talking about that, I would say uh, the model that I'm presenting works perfectly in the village, right. as you have said. Right. But we are looking at, if you're looking at a long-term solution, actually the reason I went back to the village right. is that I realized that it is the village that feeds these children into town. And it is very important to address the situation from the roots. So that's right. why I went back to the village. Right. Now, once they have come into the town, it's more difficult to deal with, it, with them. However, it is still possible, especially when you focus on cancelling, per se, trying to understand what is going on in the life of the child. 
and helping us help uh, letting the child lead you into solutions for their problems. Right. 